This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Have you seen the Nilfgaardian armor from the Witcher Netflix series? I mean, what is this? I've always wondered what's the reason behind this design choice. I can't even understand what material it is made of. It's very strange. Now let's look at the Nilfgaardian armor from the Witcher games. Now this is a lovely design. Recently, I rendered a bunch of dudes in dark armor too. I think they are a bit close to this design. Just a thought. How about we put it to use? In today's video, I'm going to show you the complete process of how I created this concept art piece. You will learn how to incorporate photo bashing and 3D techniques in your concept art workflow in order to speed up production and generate quick ideas. But before we jump in, just a quick question. Haven't you subscribed to my channel yet? Come on, it's only gonna take a second. And I promise that it's going to be worth it. Alright, so without wasting any more time, let's do this. First of all, I'll go ahead and do a quick sketch of what I'm trying to create. This will help me plan the composition and the angle while using photos and 3D. The idea behind the scene is that there is some sort of a caravan with soldiers transporting some stuff in big carts. They are going through a forest and have decided to maybe rest a little while. The idea is really simple. Nothing too spectacular happening here, but I'd love to create the mood and atmosphere in this piece, so my sketch is ready now. It's of course very basic because I just need a general idea. Next, like always, I start with a base plate image. In this case, it's a forest. It's too dark right now, so just for now, I painted white over the distant trees with a low opacity brush. After that, another forest image on top. Love the colors in this one. The greens and browns go so well together. So let's change the colors of the base plate image to this picture's colors using the match color feature. If you don't know how to use it, I have explained it better in another video. You must have seen it, no? Alright, I'll put up a link for you. Next, I am merging the two photos together to create something new. I'm doing this by erasing parts of the image that is on top. I'm just experimenting at this point, copying and pasting the image to see where it fits better. I want to unhide some of the trees within the composition to get a sense of what's in the foreground and what's in the background. I kinda wanna make some sort of a pathway between the trees so I am clearing some areas on the ground where it's too much green. Next here is another image. Of course I won't include the bench, I mean how convenient it would be for the soldiers to just chill out on a bench in the middle of nowhere. But hey I like this tree base in this image so let's copy that into the composition since in the original sketch we have a tree in the foreground here. And of course I just matched its color to the rest of the images. Okay so right now I'm not very happy with how dark the forest is. There is just too much visual information which I am trying to tone down using the round brush. There is no breathing space, no positive or negative areas that make an image look interesting. Right now it's just trees all over the place. The eye doesn't really know where to look at. I mean the foreground looks great, I like that, but it's the background that is bothering me. So how about we try another image in the background, like this one. Now this one looks a lot better because it has positive and negative areas and interesting shapes of those trees and plants. I have to change the color of the image a bit more so that it fits better with the rest of the scene. I want to get rid of the lake so I just erased that. Next, I just put another photo on top of everything, made the selection that looks like a path on the ground and then copied that selection onto our scene here. I have to transform it so that I get the perspective right. I also matched the color of this path to the colors of the scene, darkened it a bit more and erased the edges. Now overall, there is just too much visual noise in this image, too much detail in everything. It's giving me headaches. So I'm just painting some of the trees and plants using a green color, adding lights and darks. Now we are getting more brush strokes and less photographic details in the background, which is good. I mean, it depends a lot on what style you're going for. Some artists might want to make everything in the artwork look super detailed and complex, and that's fine too. But here I want to later on add a lot of stuff in the middle of the composition, and that's going to be my main focus of the artwork. So I want to direct the viewer's eyes to look closely at the main subject and not get lost in the detail of the surrounding. So yeah, I'm trying to just paint the dark areas with a dark green and some highlights on the trees using a lighter green just to make the forms a bit more clear. I'm also just adding brush strokes here and there to try to lose the photographic quality of the image a bit more. Next, I need to add the medieval cart or trolley here and I want to make sure that they fit with the perspective of the scene. So I open 
mentioned Envaro Elements, the sponsor for today's video. I went to their 3D section and looked for a medieval cart. This one is pretty cool, it has a really nice texture. Now I can view it in any angle if I click the view 360 render button at the bottom. Once I'm happy with the angle, I can download the 3D as a PNG. This is really helpful cause it lets me drag and drop the asset right onto my artwork, like this. This is really convenient and saves a lot of time. And the best part is that I don't have to make selections around the asset to get rid of its background, which is perfect. Seems like it's made for lazy people like me. So I arranged all the three trolleys on the path and they look great. The scene is already building up slowly. There are tons of 3D assets on Envaro Elements that can assist you with your projects. And apart from that, it has a huge library of over 52 million assets including stock photos, footage, fonts, music, templates and graphics. I've been using Envaro for over a year now and it has really helped me with my art projects as well as my video production. You can use the link down in the description to get yourself a subscription too. It's really affordable and worth every penny. Alright, back to the video. Now that I have arranged the trolleys, it's time to add a few horses. I mean, some of the horses are set loose for a while maybe. They must be grazing here and there in the forest while these soldiers rest. I don't know. Let's try putting a couple of them far in the background. But I decided to worry about them later. For now, let's just focus on adding some stuff in the background, like these trees and branches. I can also go in and paint some details here and there to make stuff more refined. Next, I selected the trolleys and added some shadows on the right side, considering that the light is mostly coming from the left, through these spaces and openings between the trees. I also made the farther trolley look like it's more in the background by painting over them and lowering their value. At this point, I'm thinking about the horses again. I even painted over them to match them a bit with the scene, but once again, I'll worry about them later. So let's hide that. Right now, it's time to drop the foreground figures into the artwork. I used Daz 3 d to pose and render these characters and added them to the scene. I know, I know, they don't have hair, both of them, and it's drawing too much attention. But it's fine, I'll paint them. But first, I'll have to transform them, rescale them, and position them into place. After that, I am painting some shadows beneath these characters and color matching them to the scene. The lighting on the characters is pretty flat, so I'll have to add some shadows here. The character on the right is sitting on nothing, so I'll have to add a rock beneath him. The tree on the left seemed really alone. Why not paint another fellow tree to accompany him? Since the light will be coming from the left, we can add the shadows of the trees on the right. And now let's give the guys some hair, cause why not? I'll give the man on the right long hair and the man on the left short hair. It's my world, I can do anything in my world. If you don't get the reference, then you might not know a curly haired dude beating the devil out of a brush. Alright, so now we have established that the light is coming from the top left of the scene. It should hit different parts of the scene, right? So I'm painting some sharp highlights on the characters, on the ground, and even on the trolleys. This kind of lighting scenario is really popular among concept artists for several reasons, I guess. One of them being the fact that this kind of lighting scenario looks great on camera. It makes things more refined and interesting and less flat. I also added cloth covering the trolleys because I don't want to show what's inside the trolleys. You know, to create some sort of a mystery. You getting my point? Alright, just kidding, I'm too lazy to paint prisoners inside the trolleys. So after this point, I'll be adding some fire to the scene, lighting up the characters, adding some more characters, some details here and there, and some horses of course. From this point onwards, how about we all enjoy the process with some nice background music. Like the idea? See you in a bit.
So here's the final result. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I hope you liked this video, learned a thing or two. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.